What is going on, my sexy programmers? It's Real Touch GML here, back with another Java game development tutorial. And today, what we're going to be doing is working on our keyboard input and collision. Now, I say and because Basically, these two things work hand in hand. In order to test collision, we're going to need the keyboard movement. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do that now. So what I'm going to do is in our framework, I'm going to create a new class. And I'm going to name it key input. And in this class, it's going to extend the key adapter. Adapter. All right. And in here, we're going to have to have two required methods, public void key pressed key event E and public void key released key event E. Control shift field to import those. We're also going to need to import our handler. So handler, handler, and then in our constructor of our key input, we're going to go ahead and initialize handler because we're going to pass our handler uh, function or object in from our main class, our game class here. Go ahead and make sure you pick the right handler. So in here, in order for our uh, key input to work, what we're going to need to do is in our init method, say this dot add key listener new key input handler. Oops, I don't know what that is. Control shift don't import that. So now we have keyboard input working. So what I like to do real quick is just to say if, or actually, you know, we need to also create an int equals e dot get key code, which basically takes our computer, our uh, computer, and it takes our uh, each key has a code, and if we're basically just storing that into the key. So we could say if key equals key event dot vk escape now instead of using the ASCII code of escape which I actually don't know what it is but uh, we can use key event dot vk escape which is an enum for the actual ASCII code number itself so that's why we can use that and not the actual ASCII code so we can just say system dot exit and if we go and test it out now I press escape we've got keyboard input working so in order to actually uh, get some keyboard input for our game. What we're going to need to do is let me just check over one thing here. Um, game object. Yep, everything seems to be good. So what we're going to do is we're going to need to uh, loop through our entire list. So i equals zero. I is less than handler dot object dot size. I plus plus. Okay. And now what we can do is we can say game object temp object equals handler dot object dot get i yeah there we go so now instead of typing out handler dot object to get i every time it just stores it into this temp object so we say if temp object dot get id equals object id dot player do this code so basically we're checking hey if since we're uh, running through the entire list, we're going to be running through blocks, we're going to be running through enemies, everything. So we need to check, hey, is this a player or a block or, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So if it's the player, we're going to check if temp object or uh, actually no, if key equals key event dot VKD, and I'm going to be using WSD for the keyboard controls. Later on, we might get into Xbox controller support, but uh, not sure. Uh, as far as right now, we're going to just be doing keyboard. So in here we're going to say temp object dot set velocity x five. Let's we'll set the speed to five. If key equals key event dot vk a temp object dot set velocity x to negative five. Okay, and now we can basically copy this, put it into the key released, and instead of five we say zero. Now, if we went ahead and ran it, as you can see, we get uh, horizontal keyboard input, and there's no actual collision yet, but we will be getting into that. So let's make the player drop. So let's add our gravity. So we, to do that, we go into our player, and we add the y plus equals velocity y, 
and we start to get gravity. So in order to actually check for collision, what we're going to do is I'm going to make a new collision method here. Private void collision. It's going to take a linked list parameter just because we still need it. Game object object. Now this is just for organize, organization purposes. You can actually put this all in the tick method if you want because we're just going to be calling it from here. All right. So in here, we're going to do another for loop int i equals zero i is less than handler dot object dot size i plus plus and we actually don't have handler as an object in here so let's go ahead and import that oh yeah also you'll notice that the level looks just a little bit different um, I just went ahead and made that just for like a platform and such just for actual testing purposes of the collision all right, so in here in our actual creation, create our handler right there. All right, so now we check if, or actually no, we can say game object temp object equals handler dot object dot get. I, I just like doing that so I don't have to type this out every single time and just stores it into a temporary game object. So what we can say is if temp object, if I can get the capital O, right? get ID equals object ID dot block. So now, since we're checking the block, this is, hey, if we are colliding with the block, execute this code, or, or if, so basically on collision, we're gonna be uh, running through this list here. And once it gets to a block, hey, we're gonna execute this sort of code. So we're gonna say if get bounds dot intersects, temp object that get bounds run the following code so this is actually if we collide with it just our bottom half uh, so we're gonna say velocity y equals zero um, falling equals false jumping equals false and do we have anything else here should be good um, so if we go and run it now as you can see, he stops. Our player now stops. But if you notice this little snidge bit here part, this is actually the player's actually dipping into the ground. And it depends how fast the player's going. But as you can see, it doesn't happen here. But like if the faster we're going, the more it actually dips into the ground because the reaction of our game loop is not, you know, infinitely fast. So in order to do that, we're just gonna snap our player to the top of the block. So y equals temp object dot get y minus uh, height, I believe. I may be wrong here, but let's try it. Yeah, there we go. So now, as you can see, it is now perfectly aligned with the block. Very cool. So that's going to be our bottom collision for today. Next tutorial, we're going to work on side collisions, jumping, and our top collision. So go ahead and like, go and subscribe. Let's try for 40 likes this time. If you guys are really are invested in this series and want to see these coming out faster and the demand is high, I will definitely bring them out faster. You know, just leave a comment saying, yo, bring these out faster. You know, if not, then I'm just gonna, I'm still gonna bring them out, you know, every two, three days, but it, it, it depends on how, what the demand is, right? So go and like, go and subscribe. I will see you guys next time, please. Thank you.